scientists discovered who lived on Earth before dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were special creatures during the Mesozoic era. This was due to the many species of dinosaurs that existed in that period. However, before something comes in, there must be something that existed before it. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss here. Who lived before the dinosaurs? What was Earth like before the dinosaurs? Join me today in this video as we discuss more about who lived on Earth before dinosaurs. How life was on Earth before dinosaurs. Flora and fauna climate for Pangaea changed. The climate had begun 300 million years ago on Earth. It ended in the Paleozoic 47 million years later. The Mesozoic era kicked in. A supercontinent was born from both Laurasia and Gondwana. On this continent, there was an ocean. This changed the climate completely. However, this was not the first climate change to be experienced. There was a period known as the Carboniferous Period. During this period, there were many rivers, lakes, and swamps. This made planet Earth to be warm and humid. Forests were also in existence. The ferns and mosses are among the plants that dominated the forests. Prontotaxites and mushrooms also existed. Some of the mushrooms grew taller than they were expected. Mostly, they were seen in swampy places. During this time, trees grew 10 meters tall. In the sea, there was a caudally genus fish. The Hericoprion also existed. Its size ranged from 10 to 12 centimeters long. It also had a dental spiral whose diameter was 9 centimeters. The dental spiral had sharp teeth. All these unique features placed it in a position of being termed as the one with more skills. However, the sharp teeth did not help in breaking down hard food. This made it to specialize in eating soft food. During this period, land animals and insects were large in size. Meganurites, grassilipes, and dragonflies had wings ranging to 30 centimeters. This enabled them to fly over the lakes. The unique features of the dragonflies made them look ugly and scary at the same time. Arthropleurae also lived. They lived in the swamps and were 3 centimeters long. Their main food was small amphibians. Part of its body was equipped with sharp teeth and strong jaws. All this unique living thing existed due to the abundance of high oxygen levels in the atmosphere. The oxygen level at that time was 35%. Insect size also depends on the level of oxygen. The presence of a huge trachea in an insect helps it to grow big. And the bigger the trachea, the huge the amount of oxygen required. Due to the lower level of oxygen currently, the size of insects is also small. And if oxygen levels in the near future increase, the size of the insects will also increase. The size of animals is also affected by the amount of oxygen, but it is not extreme as it is in the insects. High oxygen levels initiate the growth of animal muscle. It also supports the growth of embryos. The end of the Carboniferous period led to a decrease of oxygen level. This led to the decrease in the size of the big animals. This kind of evolution took millions of years for it to fall in place. The Carboniferous climate was the same all over the planet, but the rise of the Pangaea continent changed everything. The climate became colder, places like India, Australia, and South America were covered with ice due to extreme cold. The Pangaea climate had more deserts than anything else. The presence of oceans gave rise to moderate temperatures on the coastlines. Flora and fauna were destroyed by climate changes. Swamps were not there anymore, and the ferns and mosses could no longer grow. Spore plants were no longer in existence. But on the other hand, it was time for gymnosperm plants to shine. The gymnosperms with thick trunks and leafy clouds were now in existence. Since this, climate change has become dominant. It was time for the animals to adapt to the new climate change for survival. Amphibians were the most disadvantaged animals at the time. This is because of their moist, dry skin. Since they could only survive in the lakes and rivers, amphibian species just disappeared like that. However, reptiles were now dominating the world. This is because of their fast adaptation to the prevailing climate change. In this new climate, the reptile percentage had risen from 13 to 53%. This was a good growth rate in this new climate as compared to the Carboniferous climate. Reptiles were small in size like the current lizards. Their main source of food was arthropods. Later, the big reptiles started feeding on the small-sized reptiles. They had strong jaws that were efficient for hunting. At this time, the reptiles had all the powers to dominate Earth. A disaster came in. What accompanied the disaster? Before the disaster stroke, 
a Dimetrodon lived. The Dimetrodon was 4 meters and 200 kilograms in weight. It had sharp teeth, which is a unique feature to be evident in reptiles. The sharp teeth were responsible for flesh eating. The Dimetrodon had thick skin. The Dimetrodon also had a huge back skin cell that could aid it in swimming. The skin also helped it in hunting. The back cell helped the Dimetrodon in temperature regulation. The presence of the cell helped in warming the reptile within a short period of time. The absence of the cell in the reptile increased the amount of time the reptile takes to warm itself. All these features helped the Dimetrodon to hunt in the morning before other animals woke up. The back cell was also crucial in detecting of an enemy. The enemies included trematopids. They were 80 centimeters long. They were well adapted to life on land. The presence of long and sharp fans in trematopids helped it in attacking. However, they had the disadvantage of hunting in the morning. This is because they required time to warm themselves first. The trematopids have a slow moving pace. During the Permian period, all animals were fighting to have food. The Gorgonopsia, which was 3 meters in size, succeeded the mammals. Warming was not an essential factor for it. It was warm blooded and part of its body was covered with fur. It had a third eye on the top of its head. This could enable it to hunt even in the dawn hours as the reptiles. The brain of a Gorgonopsia was well developed in cerebellum. Its movement coordination was excellent. All these features enabled it to hunt big prey. This includes hunting a 4 cm herbivorous. It had 15 cm sharp teeth to bite through the prey. It killed its prey by attacking it first and then biting it until it realized it, it was dead. Cynodons were ancestors of mammals but on a distant level. Their size ranged up to 60 cm. They were warm blooded and this meant any temperature change had no impact on them. The hunting time for the Cynodons was at night. This is because if they hunted during the day, there was no success on their side. The presence of sharp teeth helped it in tearing the prey into pieces. Incisors were also helpful as they could help to bite off the flesh. The molars of the Cynodonts had sharp edges for chewing the flesh. The Dicodonts in the Pangea had to move and look for a better place. They looked more of a modern crocodile but they had long legs. Birds and dinosaurs were the first ancestors of the crocodile. Part of the Dicodonts could move in a high speed and on two limbs. The Thicodonts could also travel for miles for the sake of finding a conducive environment. Other reptiles were slow and clumsy. They had a spiked back to protect them from predators like the Thicodonts 252 million years ago. A disaster had hit planet Earth. Scientists discovered this when they learned more about the geological layers of Earth. They found ash layers on Earth. This disclosed to them that the disaster was caused by active tectonic movements on Earth. The tectonic movements led to the continued shifting of Gondwana and Laurasia. This led to the diving of the southern plates into the northern one. The subdivision led to the formation of holes on the surface. This led to the formation of India. After this, hot gases and magma were forced out onto the surface. When magma reached the surface, its temperature stood at 1200 degrees. All the cynodonts that were caught unaware died within no time. This great impact on earth caused fire. The fire was too intense for any living thing to survive it. The earthquakes experienced and the magma eruptions led to the tsunami outcome. The magma eruption gave out heat and methane onto the atmosphere. This increased the temperature on earth. An increase of temperature by methane led to water evaporation. The land was dry and in the forest where dinosaur ancestors lived became dry. This led to the death of the dinosaur ancestors as it was hard for them to survive. The surviving reptiles had to look for a place to move to. Since there were deserts all over, they could not survive at all. Before the dinosaurs, there lived many wonderful creatures. However, a disaster came that swept almost all of them. But then some of them survived, like the Cynodonts and Thecodonts. Thank you for watching this video. Like and share to get the latest news on who lived on the earth before dinosaurs as revealed by the scientists.